So microtransactions have just been added to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and we're not very happy about it. Especially Adam who wrote a good bit of this script, he's particularly furious. In fact, the microtransactions are so bad that they even help delay our review of the game. That's right, we'll blame other people for just about anything. If you're going to enjoy this video, please make sure you smash that like button, share this video and most importantly subscribe for lots more gaming content and the upcoming reviews of Black Ops 4 and Battlefield 5. Recently Treyarch fully opened up on the microtransactions in Black Ops 4, in the form of the black market and players have been able to purchase COD points from each platform store. COD points are the paid currency in the game, much like V-Bucks in Fortnite. They are horrendous. To anybody who doesn't know, Black Ops 4 is using a tiering system similar to Fortnite as a form of cosmetic progression in multiplayer. We'll touch on zombies later. You play for one hour, performance doesn't matter and you go up a tier. You will then get rewarded with either a cosmetic item or a loot box. Right now that doesn't sound too bad does it? Well here's the kick in the jaw. There are 200 tiers, meaning you will have to play 8 to 10 days to unlock everything. That's an awful lot of grinding to get all the items which just sound absolutely ridiculous to us. But do not fear, the clever people at Treyarch have thought of this. Being the understandable people they are, they have put their arm around you and said, we understand you don't have time for this, you have a life, but don't worry we've got you. All you have to do is buy COD points to unlock as many tiers as you want. Well that's sweet Treyarch. However, as you have probably guessed by now, there is a catch. As you see, all 200 tiers cost a mere 20,000 COD points, and according to Adam, that comes out at a pretty sizable £137. So in some ways, this game is apparently worth £197, game costs and microtransactions added. Add if you want the battle pass, you can add a further £39.99 on there. It's all becoming very expensive very quickly. Now, we're all for games having microtransactions, and I know that for some of you this just isn't an issue. I mean, if nobody would gladly pay it, they wouldn't do it. But there's a point where things like this just begin to cost too much, and this game has gone quite a way past that line. It just seems a little arrogant from Activision and Treyarch, in all honesty, but anything in the name of making lots and lots of money, I guess. Okay, let's get serious for a second. Now these are only cosmetics, so this isn't a pay to win in multiplayer or blackout which I guess is something, but this is still quite predatory. They have specifically made the grind so bad, so hard that people won't grind, they will just pay. And given that a considerable part of this audience is going to be a lot of teenagers, let's face it, under 18s play this game, this system has been designed to prey on them and exploit their naivety. Hell, kids may be more susceptible to this as a whole, but there are a lot of adults who can't say no either, and parents will quickly come under pressure to pay up for the cosmetics their kids probably decide they need. It's immoral on so many levels. Now I mentioned I'd touch on zombies, well here it is, pay to win or pay to gain an advantage. We'll link a video in the description that explains the problem in zombies a lot more thoroughly, but the short version is this. You can buy plasma to get more powerful elixirs that are buffs that will make the game easier. But the real thing you want and the item that is hardest to get are the talismans which are ridiculously OP. The process is also straight gambling, you pull the lever and hope to get something good. Again you can grind for it all, but it is so long and difficult it really is trying to convince you just to pay. Black Ops 4 is another example of this type of predatory system emerging in games and this time they've gone so far that they've crossed that oh so thin line of microtransactions directly affecting gameplay. One of the last major titles to do this was Star Wars Battlefront 2, the game that led to countries and governing bodies taking action against loot boxes. However, since this gambling system is only the PvE game mode, we'll likely see no action against it. We were planning to release Adam's review of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 this week, but now it's late. We are uni students so these things can take time and we had to modify our review two times already because of changes made to the game that featured heavily in the review. This change affected the entire review so much and is so disgusting we decided to postpone the review to do this video. We didn't want to have to make this video, but the funny thing is in his review Adam speculated heavily something like this was going to happen, that they were just waiting for the game to be out a while so they could bring in microtransactions with minimal bad press. 
Activision and Treyarch thought they could do something as dodgy as this, pay to unlock let's call it, and we wouldn't notice. Not this time, microtransactions on this scale are just immoral and too far. That's it for today's video, but if you have enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel for plenty more content like this, and share this with a friend too. Also, be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments whether you agree with us here or not. We're eager to hear what you've got to say. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon in another video.